What's up, guys? It is Monday, April 29th, 12, 26 p.m., and this is going to be a crypto market update. Seeing where we're at with the market, have we bought them? What's next to wrap up this month heading into May here? So we're going to cover the drivers. We're going to go over Bitcoin. We're going to go over the altcoin market cap as a collective. Then we're going to go into some anomalies as well, too because I'm noticing some coins that are showing more strength over others at this moment in time. But basically what I'm watching is first with the drivers, if we look all the way to the left side, we're getting some of the key things that we're waiting for. And what's crazy is they're all aligning at the same time. The stars are aligning just like they were previously at the, the past bottom in January. So for the 10 year old bond, we're looking, we're looking for that one day TSI cross down, the momentum to shift over. We're right at that on the daily chart this micro 786, the bottom PSAR, we have the stock RSI headed down here and the TSI is crossing as we speak. And if we look to the left, we're like close to these highs back here, like October, 2023. And that was, you know, the time where we melted up, we started to go down in October, 2023 and the bond yields, crypto started to go up as well in a big way. So check number one, bond yields, momentum is starting to shift. Then if we look at the dollar right now in the middle, 12 hour chart, we had that sell now signal, right? Then we've been doing like this bull flag, but we look at the daily chart, we have some insight because right now we have a top PSR breaking through the bottom right now, momentum heading down the stock RSI, TSI is curling down. If we look at the two day chart, we're still up here in the momentum, but look at, you know, we're as high as where we were like back in October of 2023. So similar signs front with the bond yields as well too, but this is looking very good to, to roll over. Maybe there's one more little fake out and then back down, you know, cause you had one, two, three, one, two, maybe there needs to be a third, just like one, two, three. So nonetheless, momentum on the daily chart heading over. That's what we're looking for. So that's another check. We got the, the bond yields dollar rolling over with the momentum 12 hour chart for the dollar as well too with that sell signal and you look at the previous ones that hit the tops us nas 100 on the right side getting that one day buy now signal as we speak flashing as we speak you look at the previous buy now that we got it was late october 2023 early october 2023 August 2023, 23 at this bottom, these bottoms here before heading up again. So this is a positive sign at the moment. And then, so that's another check mark, check number three. Then if we look at the crypto drivers, so the crypto drivers right now, if we look on the left side, and if you haven't already seen the video that I did, it was here, it was like, there was a part one and part two, but it was like four days ago, five days ago that I covered this. And it was basically cracking the code of how this is about to play out. And we're about to see it. We're about to see it play out because the crypto drivers right now, comparing it to back here, that January or February, like January correction, February bottom. If we look here, it's matching up because the stock RSI curled right here. You know, at this point, stock RSI curl right here, right at this point. If I take this off, looking eerily similar, if we take this fractal like that and you drag it like this. We did stretch a little further higher, which was a little bit like, you know, I was thinking for a sec, oh, oh God, are we doing something different? But it does seem like we're following it. We're right on schedule. So looking at the momentum here, what we do need to see though, is that one day TSI cross down to confirm. Um, and that would be the seal of the deal, the nail in the coffin right there, but it's all matching up very well. And then looking at the, on the right side here, we have the old season pulse chart. We have a one day sell now that flash. We go to the two day chart. We are running into this like resistance as well too, which is solid. So this is all checking out. Then if we look at the total crypto market cap here, we go to the daily chart. We have the Pi site. This is what I'm watching. Well, first of all, we're holding nice support on the macro 786 of the total crypto market cap chart from the bull market high to the bear market bottom. That's at the $2.22 trillion level here. So one thing that I looked at, at all of the total crypto market caps, the total, total three, the other chart was the Pi cycle indicator with the moving average. And I was looking and basically every single bull market, we at least hold this red line as support. And let me hide the snakes for a sec. So as you can see, the past bull markets, we hold that as support. There are some times though where there's a wick through, but we do close the body above. Bang, support, support, and then support, we're holding above. And then here we found our support at that line as well too. So if we were to have any dip, I believe that's where we'd find our support at. 
which would coincide by the time that we get there with the mic with the 786 from this low to the high 786 you have that red line coming up as well as with the snakes you have the the purple moving averages where we're at right now where we're holding with the green 786 the macro 786 so we have a lot of confluence here and then looking at the chart, we have the 12 hour. We have another 12 hour prepared to buy soon. We look at the daily chart. We already got our buy now. I think it was like back here. Yep, back here around 64K. We're at 63K right now. And if we look, we have the same thing. So on Bitcoin, if we go all the way back out and let me hide some of the things here, we, we don't usually break that red line. So support and then the previous bull market support, right? And we hold that as resistance as well too. Support back here. So like that level is around 57.6K, 58K. So if we were to fall, I believe it would be a, like a fake out like this, like a little dip down, but then we end up popping on out of there like kind of like this. So yeah, if we were to dip down like that. And then also coinciding with that is we have the purple snake here as well too, right at that level. And we have the 4236 breakdown extension at that level as well too, and the 1618 extension as well. So we have confluence there as well too. So that's that. Then looking at the others chart, others is doing well holding on the purple moving average here. So the purple snake here, as well as it's holding right on that that red line as well too as we speak. So it's at a key level right now. We don't want to see a break lower and it's following that fractal we were matching up like this. So we're right on track, but I want to see us hold where we're at right now. I don't want to see us break down below. And that's really going to be based off of what Bitcoin does here. Is it going to bottom right where it's at? Or are we going to touch down at like 58K? Because if that's the case, then we may see us come down a little bit more for the altcoins and then pop up. So that's what I'm watching. And then looking on the right side of the screen, we got some top gainers today. Helium, Waves, wor Wormhole, Velo. Velo has been crushing it. SEI. Those are some outperformers. AVAX kind of kicking up today as well too. So these are some coins that are on my radar because if this is a bottom here and we start to press up across the whole market, these coins are likely going to be double digit gainers and I'm looking to play it. So that's going to be it, guys. I want to let you guys know where I'm at as far as the market goes. We're either at the bottom or we're a tiny bit lower and then we're at the bottom. But basically, the sun's about to shine here going into May. And as far as this week goes, I'm going to be off as of the latter half of this week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the weekend. My girl's girl is coming down to visit and we're going to be doing some stuff. So I'll be off and not making videos Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but I'll be back next week, but I'll be here for the, to finish off April. So if you need anything, I'll be in the discord links in the bio. Come join it. I'll see you guys in the next video.